What's up, guys? I'm not recording. That. No, I am. Fucking God. Oh, man, I've been doing this for a year. And it's perfect. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Exactly Gaming. My name is Zach, and today it is the anniversary of the first video I ever posted on my channel. Can you believe it? You probably can, but I can't. Um, it has been quite a journey. Um, so in today's video, I want to do a little bit of listening to old audio that I've done, listening, watching old videos, just little clips here and there, and then we might tack on an episode on the end of it. We're just going to see. We're just going to have fun with it. I'm having fun. I'm in a great mood. It's been one year of videos, and I just want to thank everybody for everything that they've done. I want to thank you, the person watching this right now, whoever you may be. I want to thank all my subscribers, everybody who watches all of my videos. I want to thank my mom, my dad, my wife my wonderful kids, um, everybody, everybody who has supported me through this. My family has been so supportive, um, and it's just something that I decided to do about a year ago. I thought about it for a while. I asked myself, what do I want to do if I could do anything? And it was YouTube, honestly, and I didn't know anything about it. I thought I, I, I did a lot of research. I tried the, my hardest, but... The fact of the matter is I made a lot of mistakes. I'm still making a lot of mistakes, but I think we all do that. And if you never try to do the things you want to do, you're never going to do anything that you really are happy about. So I went with YouTube and my family was incredibly supportive. Yes, I do still have a full-time job. I have a bachelor's degree. Um, I'm not making any money from this. Um, so please subscribe so that I can do this full-time. But uh, without further ado, we're going to get into the main video. And I just wanted to say again, thank you you so much everybody watching this and please subscribe tell your friends because i love doing this all right guys let's get into the video all right guys so this is going to be the first part of just kind of the review video i just wanted to take a look at some of the stuff i've done over the years see what's changed see what i've screwed up and see what i've learned from so we're gonna start my first video and i think the first thing you'll notice is i believe this is the only video on my channel that had a different intro sound that i later changed so let's go ahead and listen to it <laughs> What's up, guys? This is exactly... Well, there it is. That is my old intro sound. Well, I say old. The one time that I used an intro sound. And back then, I hadn't figured out how to use my microphone. Still really haven't. Uh, still doing research and figuring out what works best. But uh, I was using my headphone microphone. Uh, and so, listen to that audio there. Hey, gaming. My name is Zach. And today, we are going to be playing some Seven Days to Die. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, well, it doesn't sound much better, but hey, it does sound better, and you can't you can't deny me that, okay? I'm still learning how to use my new mic, so we'll, we'll, we'll continue to get better, and we'll start recording audio separately from video. That's going to be a big thing I'm going to be trying to work on here soon. This is just going to be a little behind-the-scenes, things I'm thinking about, things that I'm doing on YouTube. All right, let's figure out what we're going to look at next. We are in my back catalog here. My Fallout series. Now, Fallout is one of my favorite games. Um, I loved it. I've played Fallout 4. Fallout now, 4. I am very familiar with the Fallout series. Um, I started playing at Fallout 3. I played New Vegas. I played 4. I regretfully played 76. So I, I didn't play the first two. Um, I may, may end up doing that later on the channel. We'll see. But today I just wanted to get in and... Well, very well said, Zach. You were explaining exactly what I was explaining now right at the place where I was in the video. That's a little weird. But uh, and I didn't plan that out, guys. I didn't script this one. I don't know why I should have. But uh, So yeah, I loved Fallout 4. Um, it was kind of a short-lived one, honestly. At this point, my editing wasn't good enough to do what I was wanting to do with it. That's why I didn't put out too many. Um, I, I didn't have the time. I didn't have the understanding. The video should have been longer. Looking back, the first one was 23 minutes, and after that, the longest one was 12. So they should have been a lot longer. I, I like where I'm at with the Thief Simulator games that I'm doing right now, where I'm doing like in the 20s. I, I kind of like that that new benchmark instead of 10. It, it, it gets more done in the game. You know, Sometimes I don't feel like I've done enough, and sometimes I want more, and so I think going with a 20-minute instead of 10-minute kind of assures me that at least I can get some Thing that I can I can make a good video out of and that's something I want to kind of focus on more in the future um, next let's talk about power wash simulator um, this is a game that was really big for all the big YouTubers. sorry about that really big for all the big youtubers and I think it was one that just 
I think once you're a big enough YouTuber, people are obviously there for you. And I think when you're a smaller YouTuber, it's more based on the games you play, I think. So popular games get me well. Now, there are certain niche audiences. I'm sure if I would have been found by the Power Wash Simulator community, they might have watched a little more. But I think overall, it wasn't fun for me. And I felt like everyone could tell I wasn't having fun. The main reason I stopped playing it is because of the level length. It took so long, which is why in the middle of this video, I did this. This is boring. Is this boring? See, because, you know, I thought that this would really satisfy my my need to clean things. but it I don't know what I meant. Yeah. Real quick, don't know what I meant by need to clean things. I'll listen to that later. I'm not like a super neat freak. Like, I clean. I'm an adult, okay? But I don't have this super urge to clean things. I don't know where that came from. Sometimes I'll say things while I'm recording that make no fucking sense, and I'll just have to go with it. So. It feels boring. It does. Yeah. Let's play something else. Let's switch. Let's switch it up. I can do that. That's my channel. I can do whatever I want. So I'll be back with another game. Going to find a game to play. What are we going to play? And as you'll notice, I'm not in the same room here. Um, I recently moved. Um, I had a fiance whenever I started doing YouTube, and now I have a wife. And we are all moved in together, and she has been so supportive through this whole thing. It's been amazing. I mean, I, I kind of told her, hey, I just think I want to do this, and I want to try this. And it was going to cost money to get the stuff to do it. I'd never been a PC gamer. I didn't know a lot about YouTube aside from like watching it and researching what it meant to be a content creator. But uh, I went for it, and she has been supportive the entire time in amazing ways, and has been helpful and supportive. She made this for me. I didn't know I was going to get it. Um, she actually gave that to me uh, the day I proposed to her, not knowing that I was going to propose. So that was a, that was just nice. And that's, I mean, she, she does things like that all the time, and she has been so supportive. So thank you very much. Um, and yeah, it's as it went on, uh, I kind of just took on this, what I want to play, I'm going to play it. Um, if there's a new game that looks popular that I think would be fun, I'm going to try that. But uh, I wish I could have gotten on the Minecraft thing. Minecraft was something that I really wanted to play, but I haven't found any way to play it with a controller, and the keyboard system for that is going to take me a long time. It's not going to be entertaining. I'm going to suck, and it's going to be bad. So if you guys want to see somebody play Minecraft crappily, let me know. I mean, if that's going to get the most views on my channel is, hey, I suck at Minecraft on keyboard, I'll do that entire series of me being bad on the keyboard. You just got to hit me up on that, so... Um, let's see. I did Family Man. Let's talk about Family Man, a game that I love, but it just, it got so tedious to make money. It was a hard game. Like it was, it was to the point where I was recording it and there's a couple of episodes that I recorded and I may ended up releasing them at some point, but I recorded a couple episodes that I, I just didn't get anything done. I couldn't do anything with the episodes. It was just, I died and I would go through and I would die and I would go through. And every now and then I'll, I'll finish a video that I'm like, hey, not for me. Like this, this video was not good. Like, yes, I'm a small viewer. I don't, I'm a small YouTuber. I don't think there's going to be a lot of big subscriber shifts based on, on small things like that. But I think if I do it enough, it's just not going to be the channel I want. It's not going to be what I want to do. So we ended that. Um, and West of Loathing. Man, West of Loathing is one, probably the, one of the favorite games on my channel. I think Thief Simulator is my all-time favorite on my channel so far. I'm loving it. Um, you're If you're watching this, you know that because that's what I've been posting lately. It's been a Thief Simulator marathon. But West of Loathing was an incredible game, and I really wish there was a second West of Loathing because I would jump into that game in a heartbeat. It just scratched that Western itch, but also it's like not a whole lot going on visually, but it lets you focus on the story, and it just it felt really good. I loved playing it. Um, not much more than Game Dev Tycoon, though. Game Dev Tycoon, I believe, is the most videos on my channel are Game Dev Tycoon, a game that I have learned a whole lot about. Um, I've had a lot of people talk to me about it, a lot of different people, uh, a lot of subscribers. Um, one subscriber specifically, um, shout out to you. Uh, I won't say your name because I didn't ask you. So uh, shout out to you though on that one. So uh, I got a lot of tips about Game Dev Tycoon, a lot of different insight and things like that. And they really just like watching me play it. So I got into some of the in-game content and saw how big the game could get. And that really kind of revived my my need to get into it. But eventually it does get repetitive. You know, it's me doing the same thing over and over again. And it, it's just, it's hard to replicate perfection and then kind of 
Im improve on that. Not to say I was perfect, but I was doing very well towards the end. So, um, Jazz Punk. Jazz Punk is a game that my dad hates. Uh, <laughs> my dad watches pretty much every single one of my videos, and the ones that he doesn't like, he watches like a few minutes in, so at least I'll get the views. So, shout out to you, Dad. Um, Jazz Punk he hated, um, which is actually weird because it's one of my top, I think the top view on my channel is 220 right here for Jazz Punk. So, uh, I, they're just, it, it got to, I beat the game and then there wasn't much after that, honestly. It was, it was the weirdest game ever. It felt like a fever dream and it, it was fun while it lasted. But, uh, Thief Simulator, there's going to be a lot more Thief Simulator. I looked on Steam, looks like there's a Thief Simulator 2 coming up and yeah, it, it's been incredible. Um, I, I love it and I want to keep playing it. So, uh, and I'm going to end this with my ad that I did the video on my homepage. I didn't originally make just for my homepage. I wanted to put out an ad. And I wanted to put it on YouTube, and I wanted to spend a very low amount of money, like $30 a month, and just see if it brought in any subscribers to my channel. You know, I'm a small YouTuber. I was trying to think innovatively, and it was so hard to do. It, took, it was so many red flags, and then they had my country wrong, and then I had to figure that out, and it was a big hassle. So if you know anybody at YouTube who can figure out how to put my video as an ad, I would I will pay. A small amount, but I will pay. Um, so I'm going to end that with that, and uh, then we're going to get back into the main video. Guess what? It's a thief simulator. So I hope you guys did like this. Please subscribe to my channel. I love doing this. I want to keep doing this. Tell your friends, tell your family, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye. What's up, guys? Welcome to Exactly Gaming. My name is Zach, and I post daily videos, play a variety of games, and if you want to subscribe to someone who cares about you, the viewer, I am arrogant, and I'm vain, and I wanted to make an episode all about myself. <laughs> who does masterful voiceover work? I'm a blacksmith, and I that's his voice. I've just decided, I'm a blacksmith and I'd like to set up shop here. I can pay my own way. I just need your permission. What do you say? Oh shit, he's back. I gotta do the voice again. I really committed to this. Who takes his games seriously. A victory quote. I crapped my pants. And has an unfailing moral and geographical compass. Toronto, four miles. Oh, well, that really helps. All right. So we're like over here. One of the biggest upsets of my YouTube career so far has been being in Toronto, Australia instead of Canada. <laughs> what the... F then check me out and subscribe. Alright, let's watch some Thief Simulator. If I, could, if I could say it. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Exactly Gaming. My name is Zach, and today we are back with more Thief Simulator. Now, last time we left off, we stole this blue truck over here. We did it flawlessly. There were a lot of problems. Um, so if you haven't seen that episode for any reason, you definitely should go watch it. Um, but in this episode, we are going to listen to Vinny and keep on doing our thief thing. So let's get started. To get past security, you have to think outside of the box. <laughs> and learn how to climb pipes. Learn how to climb pipes. Okay, learn agility skill level four. Good God, man. That's, that's got to be way up there, isn't it? Agility level four. Well, no, actually it's not. I can get it right now. <laughs> I thought it was way up there, but it's not in... Oh, no, I'm level 22. Okay, so as soon as I level up, I can get it. Well, I thought it was going to be way out of reach. But hey, I just got to go level up, which means we just got to go do a little bit of stealing. But first, we're going to sell an antique violin, hopefully, on Black Bay. Where's that money at? There we go, 4000 That's what I like to see. Anything else that I still wanted here? No... What else do I have in my inventory to sell? Just to ha no nothing. Um, my inventory is mostly full of. I need to get the backpack thing too because my inventory is mostly full of random stuff. It doesn't fill it up too much though, but I'd still love more backpack space. Now this car is a beauty. Car for dismantling. Do I need any parts off of this? If I do, we might have another little auto exhibition here. Car parts. Off-road gearbox, fuel tank, Boldhorn Family Mark V, okay. Ignition module, rear axle, okay. So we got some work to do on that, we just gotta take it apart. Let's pop it in here. Now it's on the lift. My other truck is there, it's on blocks because I got it all. Okay, let's pop the hood and see what we got here. Engine. Throttle. Let's take that. Let's 
Let's go ahead and disassemble it like we know how to do now. I'm a little more well versed in taking apart these engines here, so kind of a mechanic, honestly. If you really, if you really want to look at it, I'm not in any way. Please don't ask me for any mechanical advice unless it is in Thief Simulator, and then I will tell you to click around until it works. Right, so we got that. Let's exit out of there. Take a see. Look what else we got. I'm just going to take a bunch of stuff off of it real quick, and then I'm going to see if I can sell any of it. That's my plan. Yep, that's what I'm doing. I'm just going to get, see like this, I'm going to see this thing over here, and I'm going to click on it and be like, okay. And then it's going to show me where the screws are, and I'm going to do that. Pop this bad boy off. The old spark plug. It's amazing some things in cars that just haven't been changed in years and years and years and years. It's like, oh, that just works, so we just keep it. It's like that Ford quote, I think it was. If, if I would have asked the people what they wanted, they would have said faster horses. Like, innovation sometimes just comes in the face of very large criticism, but sometimes you just got to do it, man, because you know it's better. All right, popping off this serpentine belt. I'm not gonna spend too too much time doing this because I want to get to get to stealing. But I do want to see if anything's gonna be worth it. Yep, get that screw out. Get that other screw out. Water pump, whatever the hell. Oh shit. Okay, clutch friction plate. Yeah, see, this is where it's like, okay. This is where it's getting a bit much. Off-road gearbox. Yeah, where's that attached to is what I'm saying. It's obviously a thing that I need to click on before I do it, and I don't know where it is. Can I go to the back and look at the truck from underneath now? Oh, well. Any, do I need any of these parts that I've just taken off this truck? Because that's about the extent that I'm wanting to tinker with it today. We'll just do a little tinker in here and there, okay, guys? Let's make that deal. There we go. See? And we made 2400 bucks. A little bit of tinkering, a little bit of money. Got to save up for that van. All right. Well, I need to level up one more time before I can get my agility level four. So let's go to back to Richie Rich Street. And we are going to just scope that house that I just did. Because now I know their routines. I know that they're gone for just a set portion of the day. So I, I can just get in and out and steal all their stuff. All right. Is this the point that they're out? No, it is not. They are both very home right now. So we'll wait. And then do they have another security camera? Oh, I thought I saw two. Or I thought I saw an extra cone. They were just overlapping. I was like, did they fucking bone up since last time I came here? I mean, I did steal their car, so that's understandable. I stole their truck right out of their garage while they were gone, so. Clearly the security cameras didn't do great. You shouldn't have big red sweeping lights on your security cameras. That's a fucking giveaway. Especially somebody, I guess they aren't there unless you look at them real hard, but... The security system that you just have to look at real hard to beat doesn't work very well, now does it? So it is 1.50 something in the morning, so I need to sleep in my car for like a bit. To like the PM area. Let's do 7 PM and then we'll go see. I think it was around this time that they left last time. Yeah, they both left. All right, let's just go in here. Let's go through the window like we always do, and let's steal all their stuff. The benefits of knowing somebody's routine very well and knowing the best way to get into their house. Which is why a lot of, like, theft and stuff like that and, like, all those crimes that you hear about, like, being people close to the, the victims because they fucking, the closer you are, you know, keep your friends close and the people you want to steal from closer. Little exactly gaming saying there. No, don't hide in the closet. I don't need to, they're gone. Alright, let's 
open these drawers up, see what we got. Boom, boom. All right, nothing cool. Nothing I want to steal, at least. Come on, where's your all? Where's all your electronics at? I only stole one tablet, I think, from your bathroom, or was it y'all's? Oh, there we go. There's a device. All right, no devices in there, but we're still gonna check everything. Make extra certain. Hey, there's another flash drive. I'll take that. I think I got caught last time I tried to steal that. That's why it's still there. All right, what's that? A headset. Okay, I'll take that. Easy money selling a headset. What we got down here? Anything I can take now? Hey, headphones. I'll take those. And they're still gone for a while at this point, so I can just keep on searching. Alright, nothing in there. Anything in here? Nothing I can take. That's alright. We'll search these. A lot of shoes. A lot of bullshit, honestly. Um, kind of rude not to have really valuable stuff everywhere, but whatever. I guess you're just kind of rude people. Hey, there's some cash. We'll take that. Take your mouse. This, yeah, see this? These are insane human beings that I'm stealing from, by the way. Full insanity, I'm talking. Like, what? Piggy bank. Oh, an amethyst bracelet. Shit. This kid's got jewelry in their room. Damn, okay. Yeah, good to know. They'll be home soon, so I'm not going to linger too long. But I do want to double check everything. Make sure I give it a nice, thorough oversight. But I think that's going to be pretty good. We'll search these drawers to make sure there's no tablets or anything. Oh shit, that's an antique chair. Nope, we're out. This is the antique chair I needed. Going out your garage. I got your antique chair. Ha 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 ha. Oh, I'm so happy with the antique chair. Like, you guys have no idea. I'm pretty sure that was on the list for like a bunch of money. This way, we're gonna scooch around, and we're gonna walk right out of their house with a big fancy chair. All right, that was a good haul. Let's head on out. Wow, that chair is taking up a lot of space. But, to oh god, if I would have hit that pedestrian, oh, my heart just skipped a beat. Home! Wait, hideout? What's the hideout? Yeah, there we go. Look at all those experience. Remember to un remember to spend unused skill points in skill lab. Okay, I will. Hideout. Oh shit. What is this? This is fucking cool, man. For sale. Oh shit. For 30,000 I can buy a new hideout. Whoa. Well, this is awesome. Like this game just got a billion times cooler to me. Like I love the expansion of it. There's so much more than I thought there was to do. Like, it's all boarded up, but I can buy You bet I'm going to buy this shit, man. Oh, fuck. I, um, oh, do I get this in the van? I think I get this first. It's 30000 so I, I can get it before I get the van, and I think I want to, because this is just fucking cool to me. Wow. Okay. So let's go home. Wow. That's incredible. We're going to go home, and... We're gonna sell that chair on Black Bay first things first. See how much we get for it. Black Bay Antiques five thousand dollars. There we go. Alright, what else we got? Electronics, I could sell that mouse. Um, I did get some I think I got a, a locked device from there and an amethyst thing, so who knows? I'll be able to buy that pretty soon, it looks like. Let's unlock this first things first. Boom, boom. And then we'll go up with it, down with it, lean with it, rock with it, as they say. Boom, there we go. And we got that tablet unlocked. That's the only one we got. Now we're going to go pop this out. Yep, 
Let's, this is a small one, but hey, it was in a kid's room. I'll take a small piece of expensive jewelry in a child's room. I think that works. I think I, I can get on board with that. All right. Now, let's see if any of that was wanted on Black Bay, just to double check before I go. Looks like no. And other, looks like there's no jewels wanted. So, what we're going to do... Let's go to the pawn shop, sell all this, and then see how much money we have. Because that... Oh, man, that hideout is just so cool. I can't believe that that's... That, that's badass. That made me so happy just then, so... Oh, man, and we're making good money, so... And we leveled up, so we can... I think we... Yeah, we should be able to see what he was talking about when he wanted my agility higher. Learn. And I can learn this now, so I can have that bigger. And I can get... No, I need two for that, damn. Okay, steel cards with electronic locks. And that'll let me buy the other thing, so that's badass. What do you need, Vinny? The best cars have electronic locks. Learn car stealing level three. Yep. Well, good thing I just upgraded my backpack skill, because I didn't know that I was going to need that, otherwise I would have done that instead. But hey, we have a large backpack, and we have good agility, so I think earning enough experience to get this bad boy quite improved is going to be easy peasy. And I need 3,000 more before I can unlock the hideout. And I just want to see what extra stuff the hideout has, honestly. It may just be a new place, but honestly, it's a change of scenery, and I think that's fucking cool. So hopefully I'll be able to do stuff there. We'll see. All right. We're back in Greenview, and I'm going to see if I can hit up a house that has some good stuff in it. By that, of course, I mean this house that I always steal from. So we're going to do the usual. We're going to back in. We're going to cost ourselves $5 by hitting a bus stop. Classic. You know, the, all the, the usual. Um, am I on the sidewalk? No. Fuck it. We'll be here. Yep. Yeah, that's good enough. I can get everything I need to get. Let's check this house. See what they're... They're both gone. Shit. Okay. Well... Bad time to be gone, the smiths, right whenever I come to rob your house. So, I'm going to take a lot of your stuff, hopefully. Yeah, power down. And I have... Essentially four minutes. To get in here. So. We're going to rob from this house. There we go. There we go. I'm gonna pop this open. Bam, easy peasy. We're gonna check this safe because it's been a bit since I've robbed it. All right, easy. Pop this open. Let's see. Nothing in there. That's okay. Because they are gone for a while. So, like we usually do, I'm just going to walk around and check all their shit. I'm going to do what I did to that other house to this house. Because I think I got the time. Seventy bucks is pretty good. Um... How much of the microwave? 90, that's not bad. I can always drop shit if I need to, but what's the nine dollars? Any money in here? What are these? No, nope, that's just soap. No money, no phone. Let's go check their room. What's up here? Just regular cheap stuff. Take that. For some money. Oh, I can steal their car too. I'll do that. I'll steal their car. Why not? Let's go ahead and get on that then so I can steal their car effectively and efficiently. Let's take their remote. Where's their gate opener? That's what I need to know. Go downstairs. Okay. Go 
Got that. Got that. Lay down the ground. All right. Pop this door open. And we'll steal their car and we'll go to the junkyard. And we'll just sell it straight up, maybe. There we go. Alrighty. That was easy. Now we have their car. Wow, they got really screwed over on that deal. They 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 lost quite a bit. And what did we get ranked? There we go, 925, and we leveled up. That's what I like to see. All right, and we're home. We got that car parked here. We're looking good, man. This is looking pretty sweet. I'm liking how this is going. So, and we put that bad boy on the lift. So I'm sure there's some money we need from that. Let's go see what we got on Black Bay here. Anything that I just took that we need? No, but I guarantee you, I remember seeing the Asan, yeah, wheel Asan. It wants the Ace, the wheels on it. That'll be eighteen hundred. And what else we got? There was something else I thought it said. Brake disc, uh, wheel, gearbox is sixteen hundred. Power steering rack, cylinder head. Okay, yeah, so we're, we're doing good. We're going to get enough money to buy that hideout, and we're going to do it next time whenever I come back. So I sure do appreciate it, guys. If you did like, be sure to like, subscribe. It really, really helps out the channel. And, of course, I'll see you next time. Bye.